Heavenly Father, please, please guide us with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, this doctrine is one of those doctrines that causes a lot of contention. Um, for a lot of reasons. Okay, there, uh, there were contentions about this in the 300s. And there's been tensions ever since. Particularly, even in the time when Rome was being divided. Remember the division of Rome? The, the division became... Uh, people who came in were anti Trinitarians. So all the Germanic tribes. Germanic? Yeah, yeah. Ger what do you. Oh, Germanic. Yeah, Germanic tribes, okay? Germany, Joto, Jati Gulochilo. A lot of them held the view that there was one God and His Son who was created. Okay? And the Holy Spirit was just a power that was from the Father. Okay? And at the council, I believe it was the council of Nicaea, but don't quote me on that. Kintu at the council, Zedachilo Council of History that everyone knows about, so you can always you can always Google it. Yeah, it was the Council of Nicaea. Yeah, it was in 325 AD. Okay, the council of Nicaea. Jeta Hoche Council of Nicaea. Constantine. Constantine, the emperor. It was the emperor of Rome at the time. He said that the Arianism, yeah, Arianism, which is what I said, one one God, His Son that's created, and so on, yeah. Arianism. Arianism is a Arianism. He said that was heresy. Heresy. It was wrong. And I actually agree with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I don't agree what he did with that knowledge. Remember the three tribes that were plucked up? Yeah, the three tribes. The Heruli. The Ostrogoths. Herulin, Ostrogoth. And the Vandals. They were all Aryan tribes. And they were all Haruli, Ostraga, and the Vandals. They remember the, from the vision that three horns were plucked up? Vandal. Do you know when you get the idea of vandalism? Have you heard of that? You haven't heard of that? It's when you destroy someone else's property. You destroy someone else's property. Okay. 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 Okay.
But anyway, that aside, <coughs> these three held to Arianism, okay? And because that they were plucked up, they were wiped out. Because of that? Because of that, yeah. Okay. Now, and that's what allowed the papacy to rise. Okay. And that's what allowed the papacy to rise. Okay, so that's when this whole debate really got Okay, so that's when this whole debate really got started. And the thing you find with debates like this, if it's not clear, there's a good chance we don't really need to know. I do though believe the Bible tells us enough to at least have a good idea. But one thing you always have to remember is if you are debating with a person like this, it's almost not worth the hassle. What they believe doesn't actually change anything. Because we are too dumb to know God. <laughs> the smartest person in the whole world is completely moronic compared to God. God is so much more intelligent than we are. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few verses to that effect, okay? Go to Job 11. So the book of Job, verse 11. Chapter 11? Chapter 11, sorry, yeah. Verses 7 to 9. Can you fathom the mysteries of God? Can you probe the limits of the Almighty? There are, they are higher than the heavens above. What can you do? They are deeper than the depths below. What can you know? Their measure is longer than the earth and wider than the sea. so God is far beyond our understanding. <laughs> He's far above everything that we know. Okay, so let's go to Isaiah 55. So he's in the major prophets in the Old Testament. Um, uh, so Isaiah 55, 8 to 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So, next person to read. What is it? তোমাদের পথ সকল ও আমার পথ সকল এক নয় কারণ ভূতল হইতে আকাশমন্ড যত উচ্চ তোমাদের পথ হইতে আমার পথ ও তোমাদের সংকল্প হইতে আমার সংকল্প তত উচ্চ So he's using the idea of the is the what does it say the heavens are higher than the earth so if you go outside and look up in the air এখন তুমি যদি বাইরে যাও এবং উপরে তাকাও how high is that? 
It's a long way. <laughs> that says sky, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's a long way. There's a long difference, big difference between his way of thinking and our way of thinking. Yeah, okay, so we'll have a look further. Um, mystery. Okay. There's a bunch of others, but I think you get the picture, okay? God is well beyond us, okay? There are areas where we can have his character. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. We can get. We can get his character. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. And we can know how he thinks. But only with the power he gives us. Okay, okay so let's go to evidences for the three person Godhead. Three person Godhead. So there's two different belief systems on the Godhead, okay? Uh Prothan Ishar Prothan three different. So there's there's two different versions. Oh do version There's one that that says they are three separate individuals. But they all agree. Okay? There's another one that says they are literally the same substance. And these are different manifestations of the same substance. Okay? I would argue, though they're very different, they have the same end result. You have God the Father. That's who we pray to. And the Son who died for us. And the Holy Spirit who works in us. How that actually works? It doesn't really make any difference. People like to say it makes a big difference. But again, even with Arianism, the Son, so they've got, they believe in one God, the Father. And that's who you pray to. And the Son, they believe he's worthy of praise as well. And they believe we can worship him as well. So really, all of these ideas, they all have basically the same result. Okay? But, I think the Bible aligns more with this idea. And this is the idea I will argue for. But if you have people who believe that and argue it adamantly to you, if they argue that really strongly to you, and say if you don't believe that way, you won't be saved. Okay, don't don't argue with them. And the same with people like this. There are many, many people in the church now who are forming separate groups based on believing this doctrine. Okay? 
And I don't have any issue with what they believed. Because the Adventist pioneers were split on this issue. Some believed this idea. Probably about half. And half believed this idea. Now I would argue that Ellen White believed this idea. But at the same time they make arguments that she believed this as well. Now let's look at verse 13. Verse 13. So again my main purpose now, the thing I want you to get into your head. We can't know God fully. We don't exactly know the mechanics of how it works. What's God made of? I don't know. What is an infinite being? How does that even work? Infinite Ostito and Jarosito Shop Shumayas, it has to have a catch. I don't know. How, how can the Holy Spirit be in my head and your head and, and be a person? Kimabe, Obitrata, she am on Peter Taktabre, Tom Peter Taktabre, I'm going to come back to the other way. I don't know. I'm a China. Because it's beyond us. Just like a dog can't understand physics. Yet a dog can still catch a ball. We cannot fully understand how God works. But still worship Him. And trust Him. And know that He's far beyond us. And when you see that creation like that video I showed you, he's a master engineer. And he, he cares so much for us. So, whichever one of these it is, if you get to heaven and go, oh, I was wrong, it was this one. Or maybe it was this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just a, a human, okay? So just don't argue about this. And don't make it the focus of your evangelism. Like unfortunately many of these have. And I call it the Godhead. But the word Trinity is fine. It just means three in unity, tri in unity. Switch to go to John 20, verse 28. So part of the question is Jesus God? Because remember, this one says it's not. Okay? They said Jesus isn't God. Okay, okay so if you read John 20, 28 to 29, it says, uh, it says, And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Okay? Someone read that first verse. Thomas So if Jesus wasn't God, how do you think he'd respond to that? Because remember, these were the people who were going to push his message out to the world. If Thomas saying that was wrong, what, what would Jesus say to you? Think? You can respond. <laughs> Then Jesus would say that, no, I'm not 
God. Correct. But what does he say? এখন তাহলে যিশু কি বলবেন যে না তোমরা আমাকে কেন ঈশ্বর ডাকছ আমি ঈশ্বর না এরকম বলছ না যিশু কিন্তু যিশু কি বলছ Okay what does he say is ওখানে পড়ো পড়ো 29 পড়ো আচ্ছা তাহলে পড়ো So read the next verse পড়ো পড়ো তাহলে যারা 29 পড় হুম যিশু তাহাকে বলিলেন তুমি আমাকে দেখিয়াছ বলিয়া বিশ্বাস করিয়াছ ধন্য তাহারা Okay, so he said, yes, you're right. I am my Lord and my God. Okay? And it's good that you've seen that. Okay, so just with this one verse we can say, yes, he's God. Okay? <coughs> Jesus is God. But we'll... You never establish a doctrine on one verse. কিন্তু কখনো তুমি একটা তত্ত্বকে এমন ভাবে বলবার একটা পদ দিয়ে একটা তত্ত্ব প্রমাণ করবা না. You need at least two or three witnesses, okay? দুই কি তিনটা সাক্ষী তোমার প্রয়োজন, ঠিক আছে? Okay, so let's look at another one. আর একটা পদ দেখি আমরা. When he was with Caiaphas. Now, let's go. Okay, so go to John 8:58. John 8:58 says, "Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad." Achha, ethan ke porba? Just read. I'll I'll read one verse and then you read one verse, okay? Oni ek pot porba, ta por tumi arak pot porba. Ke porba kon? Ah, he's. Do you just want to go around one by one? তখন তাহারা তাহার উপর তোমাদের পিতৃ পুরুষ আব্রাহাম আমার দিন দেখিবার আশায় উল্লাসিত হইয়াছিলেন এবং তিনি তাহা দেখিয়েছিলেন দেখিলেন ও আনন্দ করিলেন তখন চিহুদিরা তাহাকে কহিল তোমার বয়স এখনো পঞ্চাশ বছর হয় নাই তুমি কি আব্রাহামকে দেখিয়াছ যিশু তাহার দিকে কহিলেন সত্য সত্য আমি তোমার দিকে বলিতেছি আব্রাহামের জমের আগে আমি ছিলাম তোমরা দেখছো যে যখন তিনি বলেছিলেন যে আমি I don't know what it says in in Bangla আমি জানি না এখানে বাংলা কি বলছে but that word i am এই যে যে শব্দটা আমি comes from uh, it's a biblical reference okay eta hocche bible er ekta reference thik ache it's called god is the great i am okay ekhane bola hocche ishwar hocchen shei mohot ami when we talk when moses was talking to the burning burning was it moses yeah so talking the burning bush moshi jokhon she jolonto jharer shonge kotha bolchilen what he said what shall i say tini bolechilen je amar ki bola uchit to what who who shall i say that you are যে আমি কি বলবো যে আপনি কে হি সেড আই এম দ্যাট আই এম তিনি বলেছিলেন যে আমি সেই আমি ওকে দ্যাটস হিম ওকে সো হি ওয়াজ ক্লাইমিং টু বি গড ওকে তাই তিনি বলেছিলেন যে তিনি ঈশ্বর ঠিক আছে অলরাইট সো देयर इज टू वर्सेस তো এইখানে দুইটা পদ রয়েছে লেটস গো টু অ্যানাদার ওয়ান আর একটা যাই আমরা স্কিপ অলং আ লিটল বিট টু জন 10 এখন আমরা যোহন তার 10 এ যাই ভার্স 30 যোহন 10 ও থেকে 30 পদ And it says I and the Father are one. Tini bolachen ki ami ebong amar ishor ek. Then the Jews took up stones again to the st- and to stone him. Acha eta ke porbe? Eta ke porbe? Amar poro. Ah tirish ebong 31 Johan 10 odhay 30 ebong 31. Ami o pita amra ek. Okay. Tirish ar 31. Hmm hmm. Is that say the same in Bangla? I am the father of one. Yeah, okay. Jeevira ta abar ta ke mare bar jonno patho to dilo. Got it? Right. Okay, good. Okay, so what does it mean to be one? 
So this is where the Trinitarian idea of one God of the same substance comes from. Uh, Holy Spirit. And Father. Okay? They say they're of one substance. Okay? I'm going to show you that word doesn't mean what we think it means. Okay, when let's keep looking. Uh, let's go to we're still in John, so let's go to John 17. And verse 20, 21. And I I recommend you write all these verses down. If you do come across people that will try and push this this doctrine on you. You may not convince them, but this is what you can tell them. <laughs> okay. Alright, so John 17, 20 to 21. So we're trying to work out what this word means, okay? What does one mean? So it says, neither I pray for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That, so it's saying, Christians, okay? All the people who believe in God, okay? So, Okay, he said that well, they all may be one, as the Father are in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So what it's saying... Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's telling us that we as Christians are, are to be one. Okay. And it's the same. So what are they meaning? Do we become genetically identical when we become Christians? Do I does, does your blood type become the same as mine? Does your blood type become the same as mine? Is that what it's saying? The same substance? No, that's not really what it's saying. We are all separate individuals. What it's saying is unity. That we are all one in thought in unity, okay? Yeah, yeah. One means act, unity means akota. So it's like for for us, the translation is like... It actually makes sense. Yeah. It's a good translation, yeah. yeah. So in other words, oh, I, I and the Father are one just means they are in unity. So, I and my Father are one, I and my Father are one. Just like us, we're many. There's many of us. We have different minds. Different capabilities. Different spiritual gifts. But we're of the same spirit. Okay, so we're in unity. Okay. Does that make sense? So it's not saying we're of one substance. It's saying I and the Father are one. 
There's another place where it says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Okay. What did he mean by that, do you think? Do you think Jesus' earthly form visually looked the same as the Father? No. His character is the same as his Father. But Jesus... Okay. Somewhere it says that those who seen me have seen God. Yeah. It's like the character. Character, yeah. Okay. So Christians one slash unity. All right. So, so far, we've shown you that Jesus is God. I don't think anyone disagrees that the Father is God. So, that's God. So, that's God. Okay, so, and... That there are two individuals... ...who are in unity. Just like us. Okay. What do you mean by different entity? Well, they can talk with each other. Because there's lots of times when Jesus was praying to the Father. So if they're exactly the same person, how could he pray to himself? It doesn't make sense. Okay, so the, so the idea is that they're two individuals. The Bible uses personalities. Okay, so you have a different personality. John has a different personality. Uh, we all have different personalities. Okay. So, so we can say that Jesus is a person Father is a person and the Spirit is a person. Correct. The spirit, huh? Then, then we have three gods. No. no. We three people, God. then three gods, right? Oh. Three gods in one, okay? In unity. Well, let's keep looking at some verses and... He is saying that, can it be like one body, but three different stages? That, that's one argument, and that's this, this idea, okay? But if you look at these two verses, particularly this one, it compares Christians to be one like God is one with the Father. Jesus, Jesus is one with the Father. Okay? So if we're one like He is, and that means we have to be of the same substance, we can't really do that, can we? Again, when you get through this study, I have no doubt there will be things you won't be able to answer. And you won't understand. Like the idea that how can... Uh, yeah, no. There will be things you won't be able to understand. Sorry? But that's... Because this, we're talking about an infinite being, okay? God has always existed. But we can't understand that. 
And so is the Son, and so is the Holy Spirit. Our brains aren't designed to understand that. So don't be afraid if you don't understand it all. There's a reason this has been de debated for so many years. Because you're dealing with it, trying to explain in human terms Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, an infinite being. But God has explained some of it. And that's for us to understand. Okay, so let's read this. Mark 2, 5-11. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven. So, God, Jesus just said, Your sins are forgiven you, okay? Now, biblically speaking, that was blasphemy. Unless he was what? Okay. Jesus forgave sins. Okay, so only God is allowed to do that. We'll keep reading and it'll explain that further. <coughs> but there were certain of the scribes and the sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Why doth the man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? Can I read the next two verses? <laughs> Okay, so who can forgive sins but God only? They were saying. The Bible says we're only allowed to, only God can forgive sins. And, and why is that? Why do you think God can only forgive sins? When we commit sin, who is that sin against? It's against, well, depends on the sin, but it's, it can be against the person, but it's also against God, like you say. Every sin is against God. Why? What are the wages of sin? Death, okay. So if we're worthy of death whenever we commit sin. And who is that penalty from? From God. Because God is our judge. Okay. okay, so if God only forgives sin, then Jesus is God. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Uh, no, let's skip down. Okay, well, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, um, thank you for everything you've done for us. We ask you to continue the strength in our minds and help us to wake up in the break. And help us to have a, a good rest of the day. In Jesus' name.